but to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. This is why it is said, When he ascended on high, he led captives in his train and gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean except that he descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. It was he who gave some to be prophets, some to be apostles, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for works for works of service. For works of service. So that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the full measure of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants, tossed back and forth by the waves, and blown here and there by the cunning of by the wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of men in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking in the truth in love, we will in all things grow to grow up into him who is the head, who is the head that is Christ. From him the whole body is joined together from him the whole body joined and built joined and held together by every supporting ligament grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. So I tell you this and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and they are separated from Christ because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they gave themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge themselves, so as to indulge for every kind of impurity with a continual lust for more. You, however, did not come to know Christ that way. Surely you heard of him and were taught of him, were taught of him according to the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires to to be made new in the attitude of your minds to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness therefore each of you must put must put of falsehood and speak truthfully to his neighbor for we are members of his body in your anger do not sin do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. He who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work doing something with, useful with his own hands, that he may have something to share with those in need. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen and do not grieve the holy spirit of god whom you receive for the day of redemption get rid of all bitterness rage and anger brawling and slander along with every form of malice be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other does a sin Christ God forgave you? Ephesians chapter 5 Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But as for you, there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality, or of any kind of impurity, or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor, nor there should be obscenity, foolish talk or coarse joking which are out of place but rather thanksgiving. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be partners with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as the children of light, for the fruit of light consists all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord, for it is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for it is light that makes everything visible. This is why it is said, Wake up, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then how you live, 
not as sound as bad as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not be drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with songs, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your hearts to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit your husband, submit to your husband as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, for which he is the Savior. Now as the church submit to Christ, so also wives should submit their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives. Just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her with the, by the washing with water through the word, to present her to himself as a radiant church without a stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love, to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated his own body but feeds and cares for it just as Christ does the church, for we are members of his body. For this reason, a man may leave his father and mother and be united with his, with his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I am talking about Christ and the church. However, each of you must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Ephesians chapter 6 Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father in your, and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, be, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear, and sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. Obey not only to win their favor when, there's, when their eyes is on you, but just like the slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Serve wholeheartedly as if you were serving the Lord, not men. And masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Do not threaten them, since you know that it is he who both their masters and yours is in heaven. There is no favoritism with him. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. But for our struggle is not against the flesh, the flesh and blood, but against the authority, rulers, against the authorities, and against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual force of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil come, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, you stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth bangled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet treated with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take, the, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and keep on praying for all the saints. And pray also and pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth my mouth words may be given so that I may fearlessly make known the mystery of this gospel.
for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Tychicus, the dear brother and faithful servant in the Lord, will tell you everything, so that you may also know how I am and what I am doing. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, so that you may know how we are and that he may encourage you. Peace to all the brothers and love with faith from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to all who love, grace to all who love the Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. That's it.